My name is uh, Hugh Liu. I'm a professor at the uh, University of Toronto Institute for Aerospace Studies. Uh, I'm a faculty member in engineering, uh, fac applied science and engineering faculty. And uh, my research area is uh, in aviation, flight dynamics and control, specifically on the uh, unmanned air vehicles, uh, their autonomous flight and, uh, and operation. Uh, so we're at this uh, beautiful bird wash site and uh, we're running a, a flight demonstration testing today and uh, the, with a bunch of uh, students and uh, with our private sector partners and as well as we're getting a lot of support from the, the local ministry for natural resource folks and uh, we're here to run the testing which is uh, uh, flying UAVs to autonomously detect uh, the fire hotspot and they will be uh, per reporting online uh, their hotspot locations and uh, taking the thermal images and the snapshots and they will perform the post uh, uh, flight analysis trying to identify where the f uh, fire is. Yeah, we're just uh, randomly, uh, we're, we're in this uh, open uh, area zone, it's about uh, one by two kilometers areas, and we, we randomly pick the, the spot, where actually it's a pickup by the MNR folks, and uh, so uh, just uh, distributed at different locations, uh, some is open in the field, some is uh, uh, in the bush, and uh, the UAV doesn't know where the location of those fire is, they just uh, follow the prescribed uh, flight path and uh, to survey these areas, and uh, once they uh, spot any uh, thermal uh, uh, images, uh, they will automatically to report the location and uh, they will take uh, pictures as well. Yeah, we're, we're here with, uh, uh, with my students and uh, they are master's students and the PhD students are working on this project for a couple of years now and uh, they are different stage, some more theoretical study about uh, how algorithm is running, how the airplane has been controlled, some is working on the development in terms of uh, setting by detecting fires, doing the image analysis and uh, we also have uh, a private sector, uh, a bright and a flight system They've been, uh, they've been manufacturing the uh, prototype of the airplanes and uh, been uh, using this one as a pay, uh, we can set up the, uh, uh, we, we set up the thermal cameras and image cameras and uh, as a payload to, to be part of the testing. And we're very uh, excited that uh, we're happy, pleased to report that uh, today's flight test is uh, very successful and we managed to uh, detect a nice spot out of 10 and the last spot is uh, actually due to our limited uh, flight uh, hours and uh, not due to the, uh, the, 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 uh, the incapability of uh, detecting the fires. Uh, so today to, for us is uh, just a phase one demonstration. We want to show that uh, this technology is capable of assisting the fire operations to be able to help to find out where the hotspot is. And uh, down the road, I think that uh, there are very um, many different uh, possibilities, such as uh, those uh, operations uh, using unmanned uh, air vehicles can help to map the fires and uh, to find the fire edges is going to be and uh, to help uh, make a decision that in terms of the uh, from operation perspective. Uh, we also love to see if it's uh, possible to have uh, multiple uh, flying vehicles to assist in this kind of operations such that they cooperatively uh, operate and the fly and uh, to reduce the surveillance uh, time time frame but also will be able to uh, increase the resolution and the cross reference and uh, to really to uh, provide the higher accuracy of the uh, de detection and the monitoring capabilities. This is uh, a, a, a collaboration research that we were very fortunate to receive the sponsorship from the uh, federal uh, FedEx Ontario, and this is a, is a collaboration between University of Toronto uh, with a private company Brightcam. We also uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Natural Resource uh, for this uh, capability to for this uh, possible uh, demonstration flight test. So today's uh, successful flight really also shows a really good collaboration and uh, everyone's uh, being supportive and uh, we're, very, uh, we're very grateful for all the support that we've been receiving today and before. <laughs>